さんの新しい出発を応援します、はい、ありがとうございます頑張ってください、はい、<笑>ありがとうございます What's up, everybody? It's e o n g here with a Kojima Productions news update. The following information comes from Hideo Tube episode 3, where we get to see Hideo Kojima and Kenji Yano visit the Game On video game exhibition event in Japan, which essentially takes visitors down video game history and then some. During the introduction portion of the episode, Hideo Kojima provided some minor updates regarding what he's been doing for the past month or so. The first announcement that was made is that Kenji Yano became an employee of the new Kojima Productions as of April 2016. Who is Kenji Yano, you ask? The name may sound familiar to some of you, and that's because two months ago, Famitsu published an article in which he defended and discussed his interpretations of Metal Gear Solid V. Famitsu listed him as the man responsible for Metal Gear Solid Naked, a standalone book that dissects the Metal Gear series in minute detail, and he is also known for the planning and editing of the Metal Gear Solid novelizations, which are currently only out in Japan. He's also known Kojima for quite a while, and you can see from the Hideo Tube episodes that they're good friends. So, yeah, this man is now officially a part of the Kojima Production staff. Interestingly enough, they both pondered at what he would be doing in the new studio, jokingly stating that they'll figure something out. Can't tell if they're just fucking around because they are unwilling to reveal Yano's role, or if they legitimately have no idea. If I had a guess, I would say that Kenji Yano will be one of the lead writers in Kojima Productions' upcoming new game. The man is known for his work on the Metal Gear Solid Naked standalone book and the Metal Gear Solid novelizations, so it only seems natural that he'll be contributing his writing skills to Kojima's upcoming new game. Yano is also a man that Kojima clearly trusts, so even better for the overall work environment. Then, when Kenji Yano asked Kojima what he's been up to, Kojima stated that he's been preparing his new project, looking for new offices, looking for talented people to join the staff, and finally looking into experimenting with new ideas, technologies, and other services, citing his recent visit to a performance capture studio, photos of which he had previously shared via Twitter. Other than that, no more details were provided. So basically, Kojima and company are still in the process of settling, all while working on their new game. They are still looking for offices, they are still hiring people, and things are still very open ended. But the addition of Kenji Yano is certainly a welcome one, and I certainly can't wait to see his contributions come to fruition when they finally start putting the game together, which is a long road ahead. So there you have it, folks, some minor new updates about the state of Kojima Productions from Hideo Tube Episode 3. Thank you for tuning in. I would recommend watching the whole episode, which does come with English subtitles. You can watch Kojima and Yano unleashing their inner Childhood as they hop from one video game classic to another. Oh, and you can watch Kojima awkwardly avoiding his own game as if it were an ex girlfriend. Anyway, let us know in the comments below your thoughts about the current state of Kojima Productions. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out!